and lives were forever changed, including the officer involved. Lancaster's mayor reflecting today after a police officer in the city shoots and kills a man who investigators say charged the officer with a knife. That man identified as 27-year-old Ricardo Munoz of Lancaster. Thanks for joining us. I'm Evan Forrester. And we know the Lancaster police officer who fired those shots is right now on administrative leave. Fox 43's Grace Griffin live in Lancaster this evening with more on the district attorney's investigation into the shooting and what led to it. Yeah, good evening. The, pro uh, the shooting brought protesters out last night and they are gathering outside Lancaster Bureau of Police right now here off Chestnut Street. They're protesting that shooting that happened yesterday just after four in the afternoon on Laurel Street. Here's what we know. 911 dispatchers were called to a home for a report of a domestic disturbance. Hours after the incident, police released body camera footage of the incident. It was warned by the officer. We have to warn you, some of the images could be considered disturbing. A Lancaster City police officer approaches a home on the 300 block of Laurel Street after reports of a domestic disturbance. You hear someone say, get back, get back. Before police say 27-year-old Ricardo Muniz, armed with a knife, charges the responding officer. The officer shoots, killing Muniz. The heartbreaking day for our city. Lancaster City Mayor Deneen Sirachi says she cannot speak in detail on the shooting as the district attorney's office is investigating the use of force. The DA's office preliminary investigation shows the officer fired as Muniz ran armed with a knife at the officer in quote a threatening manner. The full findings will be released when the district attorney Heather Adams makes a determination on the use of force. My heart breaks for Ricardo Muniz family and the devastation it brought our community. A life was lost and lives were forever changed, including the officer involved. The mayor wants to address what she called the larger issues at hand. Many neighbors on the street yesterday were asking about the use of force and response to calls for service that involved mental health. However, Mayor Sirachi could not confirm if Muniz suffered from mental health issues. There's been a lot of circulating rumors about um, uh, di various diagnoses and none of that has been confirmed and I will not speculate. She said the shooting made clear there needs to be more funding for behavioral and mental health services, not just in Lancaster, but across the state calling on the governor, county commissioners, police jurisdictions, behavioral health experts, and lawmakers to find a solution. I am clear beyond a doubt that we lack the tools, the resources, the expertise, and the capacity to do this on our own here in the city of Lancaster. According to court documents, Ricardo Muniz was facing aggravated assault charges from a previous stabbing incident and was awaiting trial. According to those court documents, he was his bail was set at one million dollars. Now we did reach out to the Lancaster County District Attorney's Office to find out more about the terms of the bail. So far, we have not heard back and we will uh, stick with Fox 43. We will bring you the latest on this developing uh, protest here in Lancaster. For now, live in Lancaster, Grace Scrafton, Fox 43 News.